Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. A Navy veteran says he was a kid from a small town in western Kansas who was captivated by space. As Gwen Bevel and photojournalist Kevin Stiebel show us, he went on to have many incredible experiences at sea helping those who traveled to space. John Brungart's father was in the Army in World War II. Brungart enlisted in the Navy as the Vietnam War was winding down, but the space race was hot. This is a picture of my class. Sailor John Brungart was trained to be a jet mechanic. We took this airplane here, an A-4, we took it apart and put it back together again. It was part of our training. He says along the way, he filled out a Navy it fits, dream sheet. It fits well after all those years. He says after reading about an organization slated to pick up astronauts. I said, I want to go on the West Coast. I want to go to sea and I'd like to fly in a helicopter. So I got everything I asked for. But the helicopter was always stationed right around here. The deck on an aircraft carrier is four and a half acres. And it's probably the busiest real estate in the world when you're having flight operations. And that's why they took the shiny white helmets they were given and made some modifications. On the aircraft carrier at night, you've got to be seen during flight ops. Brungart was a crew chief on a helicopter. Our primary job in uh, Flying the helicopters was uh, sea air rescue. They were called the Fleet Angels. Before an airplane of any type would take off from the aircraft carrier, the helicopter was always in the air. Brungart logged 1,100 hours. If somebody got in the water somehow, that we'd go pick them up out of the water. That included when out of this world mission splashed down. There was a lot of responsibility. The, the NASA, NASA trusted our organizations and me to pick up their jewels out of the water. One mission involved Skylab. I was assigned to the helicopter that had the uh, SEAL team frog people on board, and they were the ones that jumped out of the uh, helicopter and uh, put a, what was called a flotation collar around the spacecraft. But that wasn't the only NASA mission. So I was on Apollo 17, which was the last moon mission. Brungart took flight on three astronaut pickups. There was a common goal and it seemed so far out there it's unreachable, but yet there was these small steps. He says he's proud to have been part of it and has this to hold on to. And I mailed it to my hometown in Hayes, Hayes, Kansas, and it's signed by the three astronauts and the people who were flying in the helicopter I was flying in. This is really how you flew most of the time with this visor on a sunny day. He says when he looks back, the people he's served with mean the most. Right here is a ball cap um, from the uh, organization I was attached with, and this was our 40th reunion. They are currently planning another one. This year marks 46 years since they were aboard and hovering above the USS Ranger. A pretty dangerous uh, place to, to be, but it was also very rewarding. Brungart says he has so many wonderful experiences at sea and told us about how when you cross the equator, there is quite the initiation ceremony on a ship. To read more about that, head on over to KSN.com. Here for you, Gwen Bevel, KSN News 3. The Devon James Injury Lawyer is here, and we have the honor of introducing our Veteran of the Week, and that's Crew Chief John Brungart, who proudly served our country in the United States Navy. On behalf of all of Kansas, thank you for your service. Thank you very much. And I'd like to thank you for recognizing veterans uh, yesteryear during the Vietnam era. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.